Hello, my fireflies, and welcome back to the Cyan Firefly. It's me, Lyette, and today we're going to take a little look at Kung Fu Strike, specifically the demo for it. Unfortunately, we've come to the point in time where the channel just does not have the funds to keep on purchasing new games. We do have quite a lineup of free games and some games I have in store. But for right now, I actually just really wanted to take a look at this game because it looked really neat, and I kind of want to bring it to people's attention. Now, as you can see already, there is a variety of things you can do by the background, some of which I do know and some of which I do not. Uh, for instance, what you're seeing right now is actually a particular challenge mode that I do not have access to in the demo, but what I do have access to is the first couple of levels in the main storyline. So what exactly do you do in Kung Fu Strike? Well, you're a Kung Fu warrior and you beat the absolute snot out of people with your Kung Fu abilities. Now I'm actually playing this with a controller. You do have the option to play with an Xbox controller if you pick this up for a computer. And I just find that the control method works a little better. Oop, I'm starting to get my butt kicked a little bit here. Now, an interesting thing to point out for this game is that it's actually quite difficult. You have a lot of power, you can beat the snot out of these little guys quite easily if you know what you're doing. But if you start screwing up, you will get your absolute butt handed to you. Now, a couple of things to point out. You have one button which allows you to do melee, uh, melee attacks, they're all melee attacks, uh, quick fast attacks on the ground, and then you have another button which picks you up into the air and allows you to do air combos. By holding the ground button, you can actually do a flurry of quick fast attacks. This is important later on as you deal with enemies that are capable of blocking your attacks. Alright, here we go. Now, this guy's kind of a boss situation. As a result, he has some unique attacks that other guys don't have, including, I believe, an attack that I can't block. When he flashes red, I can't block him, which is kind of important to know. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Ooh. Now, see, he can actually block ground attack. Ooh. Ground attacks. Ow. So... Every once in a while, I have to jump up and hit him from the air to actually do anything about it. Now, I actually have a gauge down in the corner that I build up through attacking people. Once I have built up that gauge completely, I can unleash a super chi attack, something like that. It's generally an attack that does quite a bit of damage. If I unleash it while an enemy is glowing red, I do a lot more damage and I gain some health as a result. So... If you don't want to use it at any other time, that's the best time to use it on boss enemies when they're glowing red. It does quite a bit, so keep an eye out for that. Alright. I love the sound quality of this game, and the graphic style is pretty good. It looks really nice for what I believe is an indie game. Right, going right along here. Now, there are several things you can do after you beat, uh, hold on a second, my mistake. After you beat a level, you gain some currency, I need to get out of here, and you gain, uh, yeah, just currency. With that currency, you can buy additional moves and combos that you can use in future combat, and you can also purchase and equip various different types of equipment which give you uh, both active and passive buffs. Now I can't really show you any examples of that because I do not have the full version of this game. I do hope to pick it up at some point. I'll be more than happy to revisit this game when I do so. Alright, let's take this guy. Now this is actually where it teaches you how to do the snap attacks, those quick fast lightning attacks I was telling you about earlier. It's actually integral to beating this guy. Ooh. Let's beat the snot out of you. 
I like the fact that it keeps track of your combos, too. That's a nice touch. Nice reminiscent of old fighting games. Ooh, I got a gold combo. Sounds fun. Alright, now it's teaching me how to deflect. It's nice that it has this uh, decently long tutorial segment. I think the tutorial in the full game lasts about four levels or so. Though, a lot of it seems to be like a learning experience. You just kind of learn how to play as you go along. Now, this is a game in which you are encouraged to be badass, but you aren't just badass for the sake of being badass. You actually have to kind of learn how to be a badass. Yes, you have a lot of skill, you have a lot of options to be incredibly amazing and just destroy people, but you kind of have to earn the skill to actually pull that sort of stuff off. It doesn't just make you this amazing god right at the beginning. Wreck all these guys. Using all the skills we have learned. Yeah, if a guy's blocking and you use the wrong kind of attacks on him, he will counter you. And you will be looking forward to a nice healthy dose of pain. There's quite a decent amount of enemy variety in this game too. I mean, you've already seen these kind of generic fighters with slightly different abilities. The ones in the first level couldn't block me like these ones could. But, there are also other things like that giant sumo wrestler dude you saw who was kind of like a mini boss. And then the guy I just fought right there who was also kind of like a whole mini boss kind of thing. And then there's actual bosses like the sword guy I'll hopefully be showing you guys in a few moments. Then you also have like the staff guys. It's all pretty good fun. There's even further characters even later on in the game. Like the, these uh, women who throw shurikens that you have to deflect back at them. There's a giant stone statue that you have to fight. So all in all, it actually looks pretty good and there's quite a bit going on here. I also love how the uh, game just kind of makes me feel like the main character of Kung Fu Hustle. Which is a great kung fu, wire fu, ridiculous uh, kung fu movie. It's also a comedy, so feel free just to pick it up and enjoy it for what it is. Don't take the movie seriously. It's not. It does not take itself seriously, not in the least. It's just ridiculous martial arts styles being thrown everywhere. But I like being able to fly through the air, throw a million punches at once. I don't need a serious game to get my kung fu thrills through. Sometimes it's just fun to unleash these ridiculous 300 hit combos. Oop. But always make sure you're paying attention because if you don't, these guys will kind of gang up on you and show you that you aren't the invis invincible king. Now, you might notice that these guys are dropping various things. A lot of these are money, but sometimes you'll see them drop, I believe they're meat buns or some sort of thing like that, and they those are actually what give you health in the middle of a fight. There are other ways to get health. If you perform a deflection at just the right time, your enemy will glow green for a second. If you hit him while he's glowing green, you will gain some health back. That's important to know, especially later on. Alright. Ah! You, you did not get to block me. Oop! Ah, he's got this shuriken punch. It always catches me off guard. Eat it. You go over there now. Now, another thing you might have noticed. There are actually these scrolls that boss enemies will occasionally drop. These scrolls are another way of gaining new techniques. For instance, the very first boss you fight gives you the ability to 
roll in the air, which is somewhat important. If you've kind of noticed, dodging is a slightly important mechanic because the only way you can defend is to actually do a well-timed block, which is far more of a deflect or a parry rather than a full block. You can't just turtle up. You have to actually actively parry the opponent's blows and know what you're doing. This is the final level of the demo, by the way. So after this, I'm actually going to have to end because I have nothing else to show you, which is kind of sad. Ooh. You cannot block low attack. Ooh. That was a little racist of me. Pseudo. Ah. Accent that really has no place in my commentary. Sorry, I apologize for that. For any Asian people who happen to be listening. Unless you found it funny. Then go ahead, laugh all you want. Alright, here we go. Ooh. I'm a horrible person. I realize this. I'm from the internet. Ah! I'm from the internet. What can you expect? Cut it out. I do not like you. Taste my feet of fury. Boom. And there we go. And he drops a scroll, which teaches me the air deflect, so I could now potentially deflect while in the air. But the demo's over, so I can't actually do any of that. But yeah, this is what, uh... This is really what this game is in a nutshell. It's horrendously fun, even from what I've played in the demo. I'm aware that the demo is not necessarily representative of the final product, but it has given me a very good impression, and I hope it's kind of giving you guys a decent impression as well. There are a couple of other things that are present in the game that I, again, unfortunately really just can't show you. For instance, there's the ability to play with a friend. You can do a co-op kind of deal against some pretty powerful enemies. I think you might actually be able to do the whole campaign co-op. Not entirely sure. I have it. There actually isn't a whole lot of information about this game uh, widely available. Ooh, ow. There might also be a versus mode. I'm not entirely sure. There just doesn't seem to be a whole lot of coverage out there, which is kind of sad because this is a very good game. Granted, the people who play it seem to be more on Xbox Live than anything else, because this is an Xbox Live title. I think it's actually a full console port over to the PC, so this might actually explain why it just works a little better using the controller rather than mouse and keyboard. Though you can play it on mouse and keyboard if you so desire. Bam, massive hit. That's what I like to see. Alright. But yeah, you can uh, pick up this game on Steam for about 10 bucks. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how many Microsoft points it is. Uh, it can also be found on Origin. I th think you can actually pick it up in GameStop. I'm not sure how, but I did see some indication on the website that you could. It also looks like it's present on whatever downloadable service Amazon has. Whoa! Big hit. Nah, he took me out. Oh well. Kung Fu Strike, everybody. Pick it up. Enjoy it. Uh, do look forward to the high difficulty because it is actually really, really hard. And that's all the time I really have. This has been Lyat with the Cyan Firefly taking a look at Kung Fu Strike. I'll catch you all next time. Farewell.